Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another wonderful Resolve It in 30, where you bring the questions and we bring the answers. Today, it's very exciting for us to be working with the state of Pennsylvania and working with Zach Sherman, who is the executive director of the new Penny program in the state of Pennsylvania, which is the uh, Pennsylvania healthcare coverage platform. Uh, and we'll talk in detail about that. Me, I'm your moderator, Kieran O'Connell. And also with me is our program coordinator, Jael Tasher, who is helping me with the slides today. In the next 30 minutes, what we'll be able to do is talk about this program. You'll also be able to have time to talk about or ask questions and we can give answers. Please use the chat box. Please mute your uh, devices. And if you have any other questions, again, at the end of the program, which is about 30 minutes today, we'll be happy to take your, uh, your questions live. From that perspective, I also wanna thank La Mega Radio, who is our sponsor. I'm very, very proud to have La Mega uh, as our sole sponsor of Resolve It in 30. And they are willing to work with each and every one of you relative to developing individual packages for advertising. At this point, I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Zach Sherman, who is the executive director of the new Penny Program in the state of Pennsylvania. Zach, take it away. Thanks, Karen. Uh, thank you so much uh, to you and, and the chamber for the opportunity to be here today and get um, talk, to talk to you again about um, the state's new health insurance marketplace, Penny. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about who we are, what we do, um, our timeline. Uh, our, our first open enrollment period is right around the corner. I wanna make sure you are aware of our key and important dates and milestones. Um, I'll talk a little bit about um, the services we provide to multilingual families. Um, I'll talk to you a little bit about how we engage with workers in tra transition. And then lastly, just a little bit about um, who the uninsured are and where they live uh, across the Commonwealth. Um, so starting at the top, if we could go to the next slide, um, right on to the next one, please. Uh, starting with who we are and what we do, uh, Penny, I'll start with our name. Uh, Penny is the combination of uh, who we are and what we do, Pennsylvania, um, an insurance, insurance exchange, Penn from Pennsylvania and IE from insurance exchange. The idea, the concept behind the, the name was to, to have something representative of who we are and uh, how we will serve the Commonwealth while also having a name that is approachable and friendly um, and a place you know, intended to be a place where people can go and access unbiased support and services and financial assistance to help pay for commercial health insurance. So starting with our broad over, overarching goal, um, our goal is to improve the accessibility and affordability of individual market health coverage for Pennsylvanians. What that means is um, we will be starting this fall, starting for the, the plan year in 2021, we will be the official health insurance marketplace for Pennsylvania. That means we're replacing healthcare.gov. We're not going to be complementary to healthcare.gov. We are going to be the new marketplace and healthcare.gov starting next year will no longer be uh, the marketplace for the Commonwealth. We will be the, the home for high quality, affordable health insurance plans. And we're going to be the only place where you can get uh, financial assistance to help pay for it, um, to help pay for your monthly premium in the form of a, a premium tax credit, and in some cases to help pay for the cost of coverage in the form of assistance to pay for deductibles and your co-pays and your co-insurance. <clears throat> we, um, we aim to help um, broadly Pennsylvanians, but um, a little bit more specifically, starting with those uh, customers who are currently enrolled in coverage through healthcare.gov. Uh, we aim to make sure their transition over to the Penny platform is smooth and seamless and that they have the opportunity to renew in coverage if that's what they want to do. Um, we serve individuals and families who don't have access to coverage elsewhere, uh, meaning not through their employer or public assistance programs through the Commonwealth. Um, we very much want to be a resource for the uninsured to connect them to uh, coverage, unbiased service, financial assistance, and information that they might not know, information about um, 
how affordable the coverage might be, and 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 lastly, the connection to um, other coverage programs such as medical assistance and CHIP. We have a partnership with the Department of Human Services to ensure anyone who comes to us who's actually who's ultimately deemed eligible for Medicaid has a, a, a navigatable pathway to get to the to the Department of Human Services to get covered. So Zach, excuse me for one second. So I want to make sure that um, those who are on the line and those who will be um, re reviewing this at a later date truly understand what it is that you just said, okay? Yeah. That Penny is a replacement in the state of Pennsylvania. If you live in the state of Pennsylvania and you are currently utilizing healthcare.com, okay? Penny will be the replacement for that should you need to utilize uh, and get healthcare coverage moving forward. That's number one. Number two, if you are on healthcare.gov and any exchange currently on healthcare.gov, you will be trans transitioning over to Penny at some point in 2021. Is that correct? That's right. And that, that um, on, to elaborate on that second piece, thanks for expanding upon that. Um, we are right in the process right now of making that transition. Our open enrollment period starts November 1, starts this Sunday. Um, we are currently sending out communications to existing healthcare.gov customers, telling them about the transition, giving them information about how they can come in on November 1st and claim their account and look at their information that has been transferred trans, um, over to our program um, to see if the plan that they're um, eligible to renew in is the right one to give them the opportunity to update any information, to give them the opportunity to shop around for a different plan if they so choose. So um, we've tried to tee it up in a way that allows them um, to do whatever they want, including just continuing to pay for their premium or to go so far as to update us with change of circumstances or pick a different plan if that's, if that's what's necessary or right for them going forward. Thank you very much. Please, please continue, Zach. Certainly. So just wanted to hit on quickly different ways in which we can uh, we provide service. We're gonna have a dedicated customer service team. Um, we will have online resources and tools uh, to, help, uh, to help you navigate the application process, uh, to inform you about our coverage options, to give you an apples to apples comparison of the different plans available to you. Um, we'll be able to, we have a decision support tool that you can filter based on premium based on total out-of-pocket costs, based on um, you know, things that are specific to your healthcare needs that you wanna know. Um, we, we aim to do that in an unbiased way so you can just compare your options. Um, and that's an online resource. We're going to have direct outreach and education um, and marketing and communication specific to Penny, specific to the Commonwealth. Um, and then we will have we have trusted partners in our sister network and our Penny certified brokers who can provide enrollment support and enrollment advice. Um, the brokers can provide uh, plan, plan advice. So um, just really briefly, how did this come to be? Uh, the Commonwealth decided, uh, came together last year and looked at how much, how much we, the Pennsylvanians, were paying for the use of healthcare.gov and realized it was a lot of money and that um, there was probably a better way to achieve the goals of having a marketplace to save money and to invest that money in more affordability. Um, so that resulted in bipartisan unanimously passed legislation um, to create both Penny as well as an affordability program uh, to bring down the price of monthly premiums, um, all for the same amount of money spent on healthcare.gov. So the benefits we get there are flexibility to react to changes and serve residents in the way that's best for them, local control of our in-person assistance, communications, marketing, customer service, savings, um, investments in affordability, um, which are already paying off. We are reducing, as a result of these two programs, we are reducing premiums 5% from what they would have been starting next year. Um, and as a result, statewide across the Commonwealth, premiums are actually going down next year by about 3%. Um, the ability to work with our, our local insurers to foster competition, the ability to work with our state agency partners to 
to help uh, churning populations navigate the coverage landscape. Next slide. So I just mentioned this, um, the insurance department a couple of weeks ago came out with the announcement about the upcoming plans that have been approved, including the fact that um, individual market premiums are going down by about 3% on average. And that's a direct result of Penny and the reinsurance program that they administer to support. Um, and that is a result of that bipartisan legislation that created both programs. So this slide talks a little bit about um, the timeline in front of us. So we've been in the process of communicating um, leading up to the start of open enrollment about, um, about what's coming, about the changes. We've sent out the communications to existing customers this Sunday. This Sunday, um, we're open, we're live. People can come in and take a look at their uh, accounts. People can start shopping. People can start applying for coverage. Um, and then we're off to the races. One, uh, a great benefit of having a state marketplace is the ability to create our own um, enrollment periods. And we've done exactly that. We've extended the time by which Pennsylvanians can come in and get enrolled by a month. So open enrollment this year will run from November 1st through January 15th, which is 30 days that it's been previously. Um, key, key dates there are the, the fact that um, if you wanna get January 1 coverage, you need to come in, enroll, and pay by December 15th. If you enroll between December 16th and January 15th, you will be enrolling for February 1 coverage. So um, if we could go to the next slide, uh, we have a number of, of resources available online um, and around customer service and in-person assistance uh, specific to supporting multi multilingual families. Um, our website, penny.com, is in Spanish. Um, we, if you go to the next slide, um, there are a number of videos, um, tutorial videos, educational videos, um, information about financial assistance, how to connect to different resources, um, available uh, to multilingual families, uh, available in Spanish. Um, if you go to the next slide, um, we have a number of brochures and posters and um, assets translated in Spanish. The how to pick the right plan for you is the one um, on the left. There's a number of, of different other um, uh, in Spanish assets available that we've um, that we've created and made available. There are some aspects of the online experience that unfortunately will not be in Spanish on day one. Um, so there are different ways in which um, we may need to provide over the phone or in-person assistance to help the navigation process. So if you go to the next slide, um, there are um, a number of assisters within our sister network. Um, that are in the greater Philadelphia region that can provide assistance to anyone who needs it. Our assister partner um, is the combination of three organizations, uh, Cognizante, uh, the Pennsylvania Association of Health Centers and Latino Connection um, are all available to provide um, in-person assistance, virtual assistance, um, answers to questions about how to navigate the application process, basic questions about health insurance, based, uh, questions about uh, technical things. We, we, we aim to be as accessible as possible through as many channels as possible. We, um, and I'm not gonna list off or read off the, um, the specific organizations available in the Philadelphia region, but they're listed on the, um, they're listed on this slide and also uh, we'll be able to, you'll be able to search for them in our online tools and um, resources when you're looking for in-person assistance. Excuse me, Zach, another question for you here. I uh, certainly have a, a, you know, a large, um, you know, swath of partners here that are going to be able to be helpful. Um, I think, you know, relative to the community, th there's always the you know, the, the personal touch is always helpful. Were, are there plans to have quote unquote boots on the ground um, in the communities uh, relative to uh, to the program moving forward? 
Yeah, there is, and that's that's a function of the assister network. They provide both um, what's called in reach. You know, in their organizations, they right. they provide enrollment assistance. You can go to the health center or or one of the one of these locations and get enrollment assistance. But we will also set up events, um, outreach events throughout open enrollment, where you can come, where you can go and get um, information and assistance. Um, and we will have um, what we're calling our penny ambassadors, which are folks that are quite literally boots on the ground, doing what they can across the Commonwealth to get the word out about enrollment and, and you know, drop off those brochures and, and just share as much information as possible. So our, um, those outreach events will also be available through our website and we will promote them broadly through social media and other and other communications channels to make sure people are aware when they are and where they are. Great, thank you very much. Um, continuing on on um, the on how um, we provide multilingual um, assistance, our call center has both English and Spanish speaking customer service rep representatives. The phone number is listed on the website. Um, we also have language line services available. Um, so if um, you speak a language other than English or Spanish, there are, there are resources to help you work with the customer service team to navigate the process. Our call center will be, um, it's open now. It's um, starting November 1. It is open Monday to Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, and the hours outside of our open enrollment period are also listed on the slide. So um, I did want to touch briefly on the unique, unique circumstances of this year, of this, of this particular open enrollment. Um, Karen, you just asked about outreach events, and I will say um, the, the, as a result of the pandemic and, and the need for us to be safe and socially distant, um, we are aiming to make sure that we have both um, safe and healthy in-person events, but we're gonna, we're gonna also have virtual events, which is not necessarily something that has been the case in previous years. Um, there's also the economic impact of COVID-19 um, and uh, how that trickles through or how that is relevant here is that um, to the extent that somebody is losing their job or has reduced hours as a result of the economic impact, there's a potential that they're losing their employer coverage with it. Um, we play a key resource there. We play a, um, we play a resource for people who are transitioning from one coverage to another. To the extent that you lose your employer coverage, you're gonna, that's what's called a qualifying life event, which makes you eligible for a special enrollment period. Um, so we have open enrollment every year. Every year you can come in and get enrolled during that time for the most part outside of open enrollment, you can't get covered unless you have a special enrollment period. Losing your employer coverage is something that triggers that. So it's something that I try to make sure people are aware of because anytime you're transitioning from one coverage to another, more likely than not, you should come to us and say, I might have a qualifying life event uh, to make me eligible for a 60 day period to get covered. So. Um, any, anyone in transition should really take a look at that, especially if they're losing their employer coverage. We have teamed up, Penny has teamed up with labor and industry to make sure that we're part of their rapid response team um, and that there are resources on the unemployment claim webpage. Um, I touched on special enrollment periods. One other thing to talk about there is Oftentimes when you lose your employer coverage, you're, you're eligible for COBRA and that's a really great resource and it works for some people, but I, it is worth taking a look at Penny in comparison to that because sometimes uh, or oftentimes when you're losing income, you may be eligible for some or even more financial assistance through Penny. So it may be a more, um, a more affordable alternative to COBRA and it's just really important to take a look at your options. Um, also, uh, we, in the employer community, we um, sole proprietors, employers with no employees cannot, can access coverage through Penny on the individual market and, and any employee of an employer that doesn't offer coverage 
um, is going to is going to be eligible to enroll in coverage and receive financial assistance through us if they're eligible. So a little bit more about financial assistance. Most of our customers, most of the people that come to Penny are going to be eligible for financial assistance. Nearly nine out of 10 um, historically have received some form of it. Um, we're the only place to get it in the individual market. And um, I mentioned this earlier, but even if you're income in ineligible for financial assistance, the affordability program that was created as a result of um, this initiative is providing some financial relief in the in the coming year. On the next slide, um, I, there's a little bit of information about the the uninsured in the Commonwealth, um, and while the number of uninsured has decreased significantly over the last several years, um, there's still about five and a half percent uninsured. Uh, that that adds up to about six hundred thousand Pennsylvanians, which which means about one in 20 Pennsylvanians have, um, don't have ready access to preventative services, don't have protection from the un, un, unforeseen, whether it's an injury or a catastrophic event. And, you know, uh, core to our mission, core to our purpose is trying to make sure that uh, people have that access and, and the connection to coverage um, when they need it. The next slide just shows you a, um, a uh, geographic breakdown of where the uninsured live. Um, and this is information based on, um, it's a little dated, it's based on 2018 US census data. So it doesn't have any, uh, any impact from COVID-19 um, filtered into it. But as you can see, the darker counties represent a higher number of uninsured. Um, and of course, Philadelphia County is um, an area in which there are, is a high number of uninsured in the Commonwealth. And, and you know, the, the characteristics of the uninsured tend to uh, skew more male than female. They tend to um, be more likely to uh, live in urban areas to um, skew lower income. Um, and there are definitely a, a disproportionate share of the uninsured in the Hispanic community as compared to their share of the population of the Commonwealth. So there are another, a number of ways you can get involved and help spread the word about, um, about open enrollment, about Penny, about this transition. It is, um, we were talking very briefly before this started. Um, it is really, you know, we can set it all up. We can make sure it's ready to go, but if people don't know about it across the Commonwealth, it's really not gonna do that much good. Um, so, we are eager for, um, for everyone um, listening, watching, um, to, to spread the word about Penny and about um, the resources that are available to you. We, we talk a lot about refer, share, connect. Um, please refer, recommend Penny.com to anyone looking for coverage. Um, if you wanna directly promote um, and share an information about open enrollment, about Penny, um, our social media pages are, are listed on this page. And we also have a number of resources available on our website at this URL um, to provide you with information and tools to promote OE. And that includes sample newsletter content, collateral, social media posts, talking points, branding content, a lot of information. It's all at your fingertips at this URL. And, and in, a lot, in some cases, the social stuff can be connected directly to your uh, Twitter account, your Facebook account. So we're trying to make it as easy as possible for you to spread the word and promote Penny. We also have um, a outreach and education work group. So if you wanna get directly involved, it meets every month. It's intended to be a place where you can provide us with feedback, thoughts, ideas, information about uh, how we can do better. We will um, take that feedback seriously. We will know um, we, it's a really good group. It's, it's, it's already a very robust group, but it can always, and it can always get bigger and always can uh, get broader. And, and, and we urge you to take a look and join up. So I don't know how I'm doing on time, Kieran, but that's the about, end of- About three minutes. All right. That's the end of the prepared um, presentation. I'm happy to take any questions that uh, you have or that have come in through the chat box. 
Uh, Zach, we don't have any through the chat box, but um, I've got a couple of questions that might uh, uh, tickle some other, um, you know, folks, like I said, whether they're on the line or, you know, in the future. Yeah. And that is, you brought up the, uh, you know, you brought up the fact that, um, uh, you know, the um, enrollment period is much more extensive than um, has been historic historically, okay? So the open enrollment period goes from November 1st up through and including January the 15th. Okay. Um, if you want coverage on January the 1st, you do have to be in the system and, you know, going through, um, uh, you know, the process and be approved by, by December the 15th, correct? That's correct. Yep. Okay. And the other thing that you brought up, uh, which is interesting, is the special enrollment period. And we do have a uh, uh, Abel Felix, one of our uh, members, also has a question. Let me get to Abel's first and then we can ask my, my second one second. Abel is asking, is there a call center or hotline for brokers slash agents? There is, yep. There's a dedicated team um, for agents, brokers, and assisters. So if you have questions, need technical assistance, um, are with a customer and have a question about something in the application or in the process, there's a dedicated line. You can either get there through calling our main line or, um, something we can follow up to provide you with is the direct line for the assister, the assister broker hotline. Okay, and how would somebody, how would, if, if Abel wanted to get in touch with somebody that way, how would he do that? To call the line or to get the line. Um, the, it's, you can get the line on penny.com. You can get it by calling this phone number right on the page. Okay. Um, there's an option to navigate to the broker line by calling the main line. Okay, terrific. Thank you, Abel. Hopefully that uh, you know answers your question. If not, give me another tickle in the chat box. Um, the other the other uh, piece, Zach, I, I think that becomes really important is you know we've talked about the fact that this is a this is a replacement for health healthcare.gov for those who have never been in healthcare.gov and are now going to come in for the first time. We've talked about the fact that there this is a th there will be a transition if you are in healthcare.gov over to Penny. Okay. We've talked about the fact that it's a, a broader enrollment period. And one of the things that you talked about was the special open enrollment uh, period, open enrollment, special enrollment period relative to life events that happen. Can you just go through that one more time? Sure. So um, just like you mentioned, there's an annual period every year where you can come in and get covered for the plan year. And that runs November 1 through January 15. Outside of that period, if you experience loss of coverage or some sort of life event, um, you may be eligible for a special enrollment period, which would be a 60 day window where you can come in and get covered. And examples of those life events are losing qualified coverage through your employer or through somewhere else. So if you're covered in May and for whatever reason, starting in June, you're losing your coverage, um, that triggers a qualifying life event and the opportunity to get enrolled in SCP in a special enrollment period. Other examples are having a, having a kid, a family, a family size change of any time, having a kid, getting married, um, getting, unfortunately getting divorced, um, uh, moving to the state is a qualifying event, moving from one service area within the state to another is another qualifying life event. So we'll have all of those things, those common qualifying life events listed on our webpage and our our resources will of course know that um assisters brokers will will know that as well so broadly speaking i would say if you're losing coverage and experiencing some sort of change in your life circumstances check us out you might be eligible for a special enrollment period and the website that uh, anybody who would be interested in at least beginning to uh you know sort of understand what's happening and what options they have is P E N N I E dot com. Is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. Thanks for spelling it out. Sure. P E N N I E dot com is the place to go. Um, we have about uh, 30, 40 seconds left. Zach, is there anything else uh, that, that you'd like to say or any other uh, you know, message that you'd like to uh, leave with our audience today? Just just thanks so much for the opportunity. Um, and, you know, I just urge everyone, uh, everyone who's looking to navigate the healthcare process, the health access process to come into penny.com, P-E-N-N-I-E.com to take a look at your options. 
having coverage, having pr protection from the unforeseen, having access to preventative services is really critical to living uh, a healthy and long life. Um, so please come check us out, um, see, see your options and, and get covered. Great. I want to, Zach, I want to thank you, uh, you know, for taking the time. I, I, this is a great presentation. This will be up on our website um, probably Monday or Tuesday of next week. Um, I know that there will be other outreach that you folks are doing in the Philadelphia area, and we look forward to being, you know, able to be of, uh, you know, assistance moving forward with Penny.com, P-E-N-N-I-E, which is the new Pennsylvania Health Insurance Exchange Program that will be taking the place of healthcare.com, formerly known as Obamacare. So if there is anything else, um, what I'd like to do is just make sure that people remember, don't forget, okay, we've got a couple of more things that are uh, big events coming up. The biggest one I think is our YPN conference, our Young Professional Network Professional Development Conference on November 16th uh, through 19th. Please visit our website for the full schedule and register for that, it's gonna be exciting. And our next Resolve It in 30 is going to be November the 13th. And it's talking about uh, you know, one of our favorite subjects on the planet Earth, and that is preparing your for your taxes that will be filed in 2021. Okay, drum roll on that, everybody. So uh, once again, I wanna thank everybody. I wanna thank La Mega Radio, um, our sole singular sole sponsor uh, of Resolve It in 30. Zach, I wanna thank you and all of the hard work for the state of Pennsylvania. And with that, everybody, happy Halloween. Don't forget to turn your clocks back uh, Saturday night. Have a great weekend and stay safe.